Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. If you look at the title, it says much older moon. So as you can see in the picture, I don't think that's a real picture, but it's from the moon and it's looking out into our solar system. We see all of our different planets, right? And we can see Earth right there. So it says the moon is probably much older than we think it is. It's not as young as we thought. So let's take a look at the article and see what it's about. It says scientists have discovered that the moon is 4.51 billion years old. So billion, not million. So billion is nine zeros, right? So we see that scientists they have recently, or not too long ago, they have found out, they have discovered that the moon is four and a half billion years old. This means it came just 60 million years after the planets in the solar system were born. So after the planets in our solar system, our solar system is made up of eight planets and all of the moons. So like Earth, Jupiter, Pluto, Pluto is no longer a planet, it's a dwarf planet. But uh, all of these planets like Mercury, Venus, Mars, all of those planets and the moons, uh, after 60 million years after our planets were formed, that's when our moon uh, came into existence, or that's when it started uh, to live. So here, uh, it says that after that, after 60 million years, that's when our moon came to be. It says here, for many years, people thought the moon was formed, or it became what it is today, uh, between 150 million and 200 million years after the planets. So a lot of times, for a long period of time, people thought that the, the moon was much younger than our planets. But it's much older than that. Knowing the moon's age is important for learning more about the Earth and the rest of the solar system. So if you know how old our moon is, it helps us to understand how old our solar system is, how old our planets are. And we get to understand many different things about our solar system, our sun, uh, as well as the planets and the moons. So we can see all of these things just by studying our moon. And it's very important. And the scientists are saying that's why this is a very important discovery. So our moon is not as young as we thought it was. It's much older. So this can help us to get more clues about the rest of our solar system. Pretty interesting, right? Let's take a look at the questions for today. It says here, uh, fill in the blanks. We see a nice picture of our moon. This is a full moon that we see. And this moon is not as young as we thought it was. It's almost as old as our planets. Uh, so it says here, the moon is much blank than scientists have believed. So scientists believed that the moon was much younger or much older. So here we see that the moon is much older. So scientists used to think that the moon came uh, much younger, right? Uh, much sooner or after, uh, longer after the, the planets were formed. But then we know that the moon came to be not too long after the planets came. So the B question says, the moon was formed 60 million something after the solar system. So 60 million days, 60 million months. What did we say? 60 million years. So after the solar system was put in place, that's when the moon came 60 million years after. That's still a long time, but it's a lot shorter than what scientists used to think. And the last question, knowing the moon's true age will help scientists what? More about the Earth and the solar system. So if we understand how old the moon is, that'll help us understand what about the Earth. It will help us to learn more, right? It'll help us to understand more about the Earth and the solar system. So if we can understand how our closest moon, how old it is, um, then it'll help us to understand more about our planet and our surrounding planets, right? So that's why the scientists believe that this new discovery about the age of the moon is very important. Let's take a look at the last part of our comprehension. It says, scientists have enjoyed sad, discovered sad, or been sad that the moon is 4.51 billion years old. So how do the scientists feel, right? Uh, scientists have discovered, right? And I believe that that's a mistake there. So it's the scientists have discovered that the moon is 4.5 billion years old. So they have recently, right? Not too long ago, discovered or they found out. So they have discovered that the moon is four and a half billion years old. 
Let's just take a look at the question B. For many years, people thought the moon was formed as much as 200 million years, billion years, or trillion years after the planets. So many, many years, people thought that the moon was how many years, 200 what years, after the planets were formed. And we said that people thought that they were 200 million years after. So they thought that after the Earth, after Mercury, after Venus, after 200 million years, that's when the moon came. That's what people used to think, but we know that that is not true anymore. And the last question, the Earth is part of the what system, right? So we said that all the planets and all the planets' moons that are surrounding our sun, that is called the solar system. So Earth is part of the solar system and so is our moon. And today's article, we learned that the moon is not as young as we thought it is, but it's actually older. And why is that important? Because that helps us understand our planet as well as the surrounding planets in more detail. So I hope you learned a lot from today's article and hopefully you can share that our moon is not as young as we thought it was. So share this article with your friends and your family that the moon that we see every night, it's a lot older than we thought. Okay, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.